What are we doing? Hey. <laughs> Making up some new... Making a label. Making a label. <laughs> Making up some new labels finally for these B Harmoris. Not B Smithies. Ryan and Ben, RB Reptiles. We are gonna do, start doing the How To series, where we show you how we do stuff. Today, I have to rehouse this tarantula. So I'll show you how to do that. This is uh, used to be called a year and a half old, two year old B Hamori X Smithy. Recently changed its name. I printed up new labels. Because I'm good like that. Alright, so they're a terrestrial. So they need more ground space and height. In fact, less height the better. These are a little tall, but they will burrow sometimes. So we want to make sure the substrate is up high because. They can climb the sides a little bit, and if they fall, they can get injured. So, we don't want them to be able to do that. So, you can use any type of organic soil substrate, really. Um, this is easy to grab at the pet store. I've used this, I've used a mixture of organic potting soil and compost. It's not that complicated though. So we'll just fill this guy up. It's pretty exciting. The dog is like, I want to be involved. <laughs> Who has a treat for me? Maybe I'll speed this up. What? So, that's pretty good. You can get cork bark or something, put it in here so that they can have like. that just give them a little starting hole maybe they'll use it maybe they won't I don't know depends on the spider really For these spiders I at this point don't have a water dish in with them I spray them down uh, and make sure to get water on the side walls uh, at least once a week no more than two though, because they're only too damp. And let's see if I can do this in a way it doesn't ruin everything. And I guess I should. Alright, we're all fine. That's good. Oh no, I'll do that. There we go. And there it is. And it's home. People may ask what we feed them. We have doobie roaches. They like very much uh, gut loaded with good quality roach food so that you don't have to worry about dusting it. And you want them to be about the, you know, about the size of its abdomen, not much larger. See how it's climbing the side of the walls? That's 
what I was saying. If it has too much height, ceiling height, it can get up real high, you know. Say you added in a 20 gallon tank or something, or a 10 gallon tank, and it could drop 8 to 10 inches to the ground. It could rupture its abdomen and ultimately kill the spider. So that is what we're trying to avoid with such high and deep substrate. And that concludes Professor Ryan's free homing tarantulas. Bye. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, check us out on Facebook. But also uh, hit that notification button too so you know when we have new videos. I'm holding my turtle here for no reason. Like and subscribe! Arrgh. And uh, you know, you get to see what we got going on. Thanks. Like and subscribe to our videos. Yeah, Red Green Grumble. <laughs> what do you even use this thing for? <laughs> <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> oh, like, like, and subscribe to our videos. The claw gets ya. <laughs>